What is up guys, Jav here back on Planet Destiny. It is Friday, the first day of the weekend, and Zer is back once again. And as you can see, we are in a tower, and you'll find Zer over in the hangar in the far right hand side of the map, as always. With that being said, and with our friends here, let's have a look and see what good he's actually got for us this week. Oh, okay. Been a while, been a while for that one. We'll start off here as we always do. So we've got the exotic engram. So this contains a new exotic if you have any remaining to be collected. Otherwise, it contains a random piece of exotic ar armor instead. So if you're looking for some higher stat rolls on those, including the Aphidia Spafe, which he has for sale this week, then you can pick up the engram, which you can purchase either for 97 legendary shards or the exotic cipher if you haven't completed this quest or if you don't have a cipher already. Cool. So the weapon of the week is the Sunshot. It's been a while since Sir uh, has sold this. Uh, the one back from the Red Ball campaign, initially based off Fatebringer when it was first introduced. So this has got the intrinsic trait Sunburns. So the weapon fires explosive rounds and highlights targets that take damage from Sunshot. It also has Sunblast, where targets killed with Sunshot explode with solar energy. The only 150 RPM hand cannon inside Destiny 2. The one to retain that RPM. So a fun one inside PvE and can surprise and get some double kills in PvP. Uh, it's range lets it down in that respect, but then you do have a catalyst. Is there a catalyst? Yes, which you can apply to this weapon. So definitely worth getting that. Uh, and also there's some swanky new ornaments that you can pick up as well. So definitely highly recommend this, guys, and worth adding this one to your collection. Aphidius Spafe for you hunters. We've got the Solar Affinity, an absolutely massive stat again from Zer this week. 65 stat, heavily weighted towards strength, sadly, although that does provide some form of benefit to scissor fingers which is the armor's perk where it grants two knives per charge so it provides two of the thing and it does that very well uh definitely worth picking up with that stat roll it has a ornament as well which gives you a cobra on your chest which is pretty cool so yeah definitely worth picking this up if you haven't got a good roll already severance enclosures not really used a great deal for titans we've got the arc affinity and it's 59 stats they're not going to be picked up too much this week with that stat roll although saying that it is still better than the collection roll so if you want to trade that out then you can do that this week um it's armor's perk is where powered melee final blows unleash damaging explosions and finishes and final blows against more powerful targets will increase the radius and damage of said explosion very situational very much a pve armor perk in that regard but sadly overshined uh, by other exotics mainly because it's not that useful especially when it comes to end game and aspirational pieces of content things like grandmasters and those things so it's a fun one to use but it's a nice one to have but it's not an absolutely essential one but definitely get it if you only have the collection roll and finally for you warlocks we've got the aphidious uh aphidian aspects we've got the arc affinity 61 stats so not absolutely huge but it's a got a good distribution of recovery and intellect so it might be worth picking up got armor's perk where cobra was it cobra tematic where weapons ready and reload very quickly and melee range is also extended uh warlocks have one of the longest melee ranges already so uh this makes it ridiculously long but having faster ready and reload speeds is always great especially with the changes to quick draw and things like that so one worth experimenting with, uh, especially outside traversive steps if that's what you primarily run inside PvP. There's also a Warlock ornament, uh, which gives you snakes wrapped around your arm. And who doesn't like that? So yeah, introduced back in Curse of Osiris, so definitely worth picking these up if you haven't got a good roll on those as well. So there we go, that is Zer for this week. I'll be back on my own channel with a full Trials breakdown of the map and loot, so keep those peepers peeled for that. If you enjoyed this video here on Planet Destiny, though, be sure to leave a comment and rating down below. And remember to subscribe for more Destiny 2 content as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always, guys, and I will catch you all again very soon.